Bates is sure away down the right. Fisher comes across. Bates is sure. Shot down by Fisher. And Kyle Fisher could be in trouble here. It's a yellow card. So, Stephen, take us back. June 27, 2017. What do you remember about that day? We won the Canadian Championship. <laughs> That's what I remember. Uh, yeah, there was a, a lot. It was uh, a roller coaster ride as far as emotions go. Um, obviously, the, the final was great for us, uh, but in between wasn't so great for myself. Uh, I did uh, lacerate my pancreas. Before the end of the first half, the incident, it played out. What do you remember? I remember it was pretty close to being halftime. Um, I didn't know if it was in injury time or not, but uh, I don't know if it was a corner or a cross that came over to me. And one of the play one of their players came over, and I kind of put the ball around him. And it I, was a I great like move, move. Stephen. I, lo I love that move. That goes back to my younger days, and it it worked 99 out of 100 times until I tried to do it again to the next guy and uh, unfortunately uh, it didn't work out uh, I took the touch like I do every time around someone and I go and open up and that's really what caused harm for me so you get absolutely trucked I, I equated it to a rugby challenge that's what it looked like what did you experience at that time was it initial pain did did the world stop for a moment, like, what did you experience on the moment of contact? It, it hurt like someone took a sledgehammer to my midsection. It wasn't like people are like, oh, you got the wind knocked out. No, it wasn't like that. I've had the wind knocked out of me a couple weeks before when I ran to Kemp on that header. That was getting the wind knocked out of me. <laughs> that was nothing compared to this. Uh, I, the, the, honestly, everything stopped at that moment. I couldn't breathe. Like, I couldn't take in air. It was just everything stopped. I don't know how long I was sitting down there for, but it felt like an eternity. It was probably, I don't know, 10 seconds maybe I couldn't breathe, but it felt like it was, you know, 30 seconds to a minute that I just couldn't take a breath in. And that was scary. It really was. I, I thought for a second, like, you know, hopefully I can get my breath. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to die. It's crazy to think like that, but that's what goes through your head when you can't breathe. Half time comes and you end up staying in the game. What made you think that you were well enough to stay in the game? I didn't have any broken bones. <laughs> they said, your ribs are fine. I said, all right, cool, let's go. Javinko scores in the latter stages of the match. And when we look at the tape, you're right there, smile on your face, in there celebrating, yeah. like you're still 100%. Yeah, I felt 100%. I felt was. better than 100%, I swear. I honestly felt like nothing was wrong with me. I felt better than 100%, honestly. I felt so great at the time. And jumping into the crowd and uh, the energy from, from the crowd right when we scored in the dying minutes, it was great. I felt like a million bucks right then. Once the adrenaline started to wear off, uh, I felt right in the middle. It really started to hurt. Uh, and as the hours went on, the pain just went up. I remember the drive over hurt a lot with all the bumps in the road. Uh, every bump felt like a nice stab in the stomach, so that wasn't fun. Uh, but I got in and they're like, no, like something's definitely wrong, uh, go to ER. They saw that the pancreas had, pancreas had a laceration in it and it was leaking into my stomach things, toxins and blood that it shouldn't be. So that's when they're like, okay, we need to do surgery. None of the doctors have seen this with athletes. That's what they said. Um, they, they say the only time we've, this is a rare injury regardless of who you are. We don't see with athletes. The only time we do see it is if you get in a car accident where you're going pretty fast and the steering wheel crushes your chest, stomach, and then, because the pancreas is pretty hidden back there. So they said you have to get hit really hard from the steering wheel for it to, to puncture your pancreas. Were you concerned about your career at that time? Yeah, um, speaking to the different doctors, uh, you know, at one point it was, we're gonna have to take out a portion of your pancreas and your spleen, um, you know, you're gonna be out for a long time. Uh, then you go into a possibility of uh, becoming diabetic. It was, my mind was going everywhere like, you know, what's life going to be after soccer, you know? 
They put camera one side through a small little incision. They had the, the tool in another incision. And then they had two tubes going into my stomach, draining all the toxins out into two um, kind of tubes. What's incredible is we're here less than two months later yeah. and you're on the verge of returning. You're, you're back training. Yeah. This went from a potential, you know, life-threatening, career-threatening injury to something where you seem to be coming out on the good end here. How has the process been for you? I mean, I feel blessed. I, I had a lot of support from the staff, from, from everybody, you know, just checking in constantly. Um, so what we did in the end, I think, was, was good for me. It's an incredible story, Beta. The fact that you suffered an injury like this, carried on, played, won a championship and everything that you've been through since. People will call you a warrior, but it seems to me like you just approach it as this is part of the job. Do you consider yourself a warrior? No, no, not at all. It is part of the job. It's, it's, nothing was broken, <laughs> and it's a championship game. I'm not coming out. My only mentality into that was don't hurt the team. If you can stay out here and help the team, stay out here. Congratulations on your progress and cannot wait to see you back out on the field. Can't wait to get back out there. I miss the guys and I'm looking forward to it.